One of the themes that uh, comes through some of my videos uh, recently, uh, and one of the uh, the themes in, in other videos and, and uh, television work uh, on the net, I'm thinking particularly of um, Oksana Boyko's uh, very good work on Russian television, uh, where through several interviews, uh, there's been the question uh, particularly of recruits for ISIS as, as to the, the worry really uh, of people outside of Syria and Iraq because uh, it's not just in Europe uh, that, that people are being recruited uh, from all over the world really it seems as though people are being recruited young men in particular uh, are being recruited for the um, fighting force of ISIS so that's been uh, something of a theme going through uh, these videos and as I say it's featured in some of mine and, and um, if for people who are interested I encourage you to go back over the videos and also to go back over um, excellent work uh, as I've said uh, by um, Oksana uh, in A World Apart uh, where through several uh, interviews uh, Jurassi uh, a number of, of people she's interviewed uh, really uh, have the, she's really worked this, this, uh, this theme and quite rightly, because uh, it, it is not only um, important, uh, it's also something that I don't think we understand. So how do we go about understanding it? And what, what kind of um, words can we use? I, I would uh, use the word identity kit, and that's uh, just a way of, of um, introducing the conversation, really. Uh, but what it seems to me is happening is that social media uh, is being used by the recruits uh, to, as it were, assemble in a, a new identity kit uh, that um, allows them to do things. Um, and in my interviews, I've used the example of beheading people who wouldn't behead a, a mosquito or a fly in, in uh, their home zones of, of let's say, Europe, uh, are going to uh, fight for ISIS and to do exactly that only with people. So this is a very big transformation and uh, it's something that people all over the world are, are, are remarking upon. The rebuilding of identity, the rebuilding of identity by uh, young men, it is young men in the main, but I, I hesitate to just say that it's only young men, uh, is um, remarkable. And, and how does it happen? Well, we can look at, at several um, points. One is the sheer buzz of uh, social media. Do we understand social media? Do we understand the, the, the effect of, of uh, people who can uh, use the imagery of games, um, uh, people who can uh, use the Hollywood um, style uh, techniques uh, to attract recruits? Do we understand the actual power of that? Do we understand the power of combination, the combination of social media and religion? So people are going to fight for ISIS, to fight for an Islamic state. There's obviously, or a caliph, uh, there's probably a caliphate, uh, probably uh, a better way to put it. Uh, do people understand what a caliphate is? Do people understand what Islam is? I would argue that that's not necessarily um, the case, and, and it's not necessary actually. Uh, for people to be recruited from, uh, let's say, Europe, because that's where the big concern is, uh, let's say Germany and Austria specifically, because I'm going to come to that in a second, uh, are they really converted to Islam? Are they really radicalised? And I'll be coming to that later in this little talk as well, because I think the word um, radicalisation is thrown about here really without a, a, a decent kind of um, set of bearings. So coming back to uh, the uh, point about uh, the attraction of social media, uh, we I think we uh, need to look at several other things, uh, which is the uh, relative attraction uh, of social media compared with uh, other forms of uh, identity formation. For example, um, in a very, very good interview with um, Oksama, uh, Oksama uh, Boyko interviewing um, Dr. Jurassi, uh, I, I was very struck by uh, his analysis of population um, in, say, Germany and Austria, where he was saying that uh, because the uh, population increase is small, 1.5, I won't go into the percentages because I'll get lost, uh, but basically the, the, the society is not reproducing itself. So there's a need for immigration. And there's all sorts of ironies here that once the immigrants are 
coming in, in, in our uh, uh, not not all that well received and so forth and so on uh, and we have marches and, and that type of thing going on which uh, at present um, anti-immigration marches in Germany and I think we need to relate that uh, to the sense of identity uh, that um, people have who are the children of those immigrants because I think it's an incomplete uh, type of identity I think uh, one's only got to ask the question how one might feel if one was brought up in a country where uh, that was the only education system that they knew that was the only uh, political system uh, that they knew uh, and uh, then all of a sudden someone said well you're not actually a citizen here really and we object to you being here I mean that kind of incompleteness <laughs> is, is enough to really uh, set the tone uh, for an easy transition there's still the question as to as to why uh, people get into uh, what apparently looks like a regression uh, into, for example, a regressive treatment of, of women, a regressive treatment of, of uh, to the point of, of, of uh, people have slaves evidently in, in, in the ISIS uh, situation. I don't know if they do, but this is the, the point. And then, of course, there's all this business about beheading and, and so forth and so on and, and the sheer brutality of the regime. Uh, now, that's got to be explained why people would move from what I've called an incomplete kit, identity kit, to this particular identity kit. And I don't actually have, have a, 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 a decent explanation for it, but I do think certain things are not being emphasized in the argument. And I say that with, with the best of respect to Oksana and, and uh, Oksana and, and her, her uh, um, contributors and to the rest of the literature that I've read and they're the two things that I've mentioned today one is the swarm effect uh, the the buzz effect of social media and I've talked about that in earlier uh, broadcasts with um, respect to Virginia Woolf's idea of uh, the mark on the wall and how our thoughts flood and and, and I'm suggesting that social media has actually been able to uh, unlock that to to, to 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 develop that swarming effect that that buzz that that uh, frisson that, that that sense of adventure and so forth uh, so so that's one two is this question of of the um, incomplete identity which i think uh can, something can be done about uh, i i think that that uh, it's a major factor I, I i think that this whole business of particularly in germany and austria uh, where uh, if you take what um, Jurassic is saying, uh, just, and he's not talking about what I'm talking about, he's talking about simply, um, and I encourage people to look at the interview itself, not just take what I'm, what I'm relaying, uh, of uh, Oksana uh, Boyko of Dr. Jurassic. He's saying simply that this society is not reproducing itself. And I, I think if we take that as our beginning point, uh, then there's a need for immigration. Then there's the question as to how the immigrants are treated and particularly how the children of immigrants are treated. And that applies to the education system. It applies to the media, uh, because you're talking about something called social media, which attracts people, evidently. My point is that the, the rest of the media doesn't attract People, if you're the child of an immigrant in Germany and Austria, and uh, you are being uh, your identity is being questioned, uh, and there's not much for you on uh, the television stations and the radio and so forth, and on even on the internet coming out of uh, those countries, then you're going to be attracted to something else. As I say, I'm not quite convinced in my own mind how the attraction to ISIS works, but certainly I've, I've, I've got pretty clear in my mind I want to put it out there uh, that we really have to look at what I call an identity deficit an identity deficit and it applies in Great Britain it applies in France it applies to uh, an extent right across Europe and it probably applies here in New Zealand and, and, and in Australia but I think that those two countries Germany and, and, and Austria uh, I'm taking my point of reference today partly because I think that whole question of, uh, of, of um, the immigrants being needed because of population um, issues and that actually being quite independent as a causal factor uh, from whatever's going on with ISIS is important. I think that I think it's important that we, we broaden our vision to include uh, that, that type of demographic thinking uh, and then start to look at identity formation and come to what I've called A, the identity kit 
and B, uh, the incomplete identity kit, uh, and what I've also called uh, the identity deficit. You're with Peter Cleave.